first thing with GIMP in file new and I set to this big room size and with landscape mode and click OK through that with paint brush tool or the shortcut is P and make sure you click this to reset the color the color should be the black on the front and let's change the brush to some of this acrylic okay increase the size and place it anywhere because we are going to use the swirl and pins filters so just place it random right after that you can duplicate this background layer click this duplicate and go to filters distort just wheel and pinch okay make the radius full and wheel and a pinch and click ok and next what we're going to do is use this warp and transform so duplicate this layer click this duplicate again and you click this warp and transform you can increase the size and the hardness and the strength too so just make some abstract movement And after that, use the curves in colors, just curves, and just drag down the curves until you see more black color than the white. Alright, then click OK. After that, you can export this image and open it in on Inkscape. Next on Inkscape, you can import the image in file. Choose import. Click OK. Now use the trace and bitmap so you can change to any color or modify it by going to path choose the trace and bitmap so you can increase the threshold or reduce it so I prefer this value it's more darker hit apply and drag if you press F2 or you can click this not tool you see this editable and this not so just delete the original press F1 the selector tool and press delete on the keyboard okay okay next let's do some let's draw some rectangle shape and find nice position so I'm pressing ctrl T to duplicate it for another shape place it outside the canvas and select all right click choose set clip right you can change to any color that you want okay let's try more with different shape ctrl D duplicate and this time I want to do with the circle with an ellipse tool hold control shift to create a proportional circle to find a nice position you can reduce the opacity to C and let's change the color so you can see visible select all and right click choose set clip can feel free to change the color ok now let's do with love shape so with the rectangle tool ok drag and you can drag this handle to corner to make it rounded ok and press ctrl D to duplicate click until you see this rotate again and hold control now use the shape builder tool so select all and you can 
press X on the keyboard or you can click this icon now subtract the shape by holding shift till you see this pink highlight and click and this tier hold shift then click and unite this shape just drag it and click the selection tool and you can rotate it click one more until you see this rotate icon and hold control I want to change to some color and you can reduce the opacity to find a nice position scale it down hold control okay select all and right click choose set clip that's how you can create this liquid marble design with game help and convert it to vector on Inkscape thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye